Hey guys, we are back for another Game Maker tutorial, the second one in this series. Um, last time we made these images, these sprites, and now we will be making objects out of them. So, for this one, uh, you can create object or click that. But, you know, this is easier to click, so <laughs> yellow swag. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have said that. Oops. <laughs> but, um, f basically, we're going to want an object for the character and an object for the wall. Pretty obvious because we've got the character and the wall up there. So, because the same way we did SPR, then wall, and SPR, then character, we're going to do exactly the same thing here, but with OBJ. It stands for object. So, OBJ wall. Um, and this might look a bit confusing right now. Trust me, it's very simple. It won't take too long to understand. It should be fine. Now, because we've got our wall here, this is quite important. This is what image it has, because we want to bind the sprite with the object. So you can click new to create a new sprite, but we've already got our wall sprite, so we're good. We can click that and click sprite wall. And now, as you can see, it's added that, so this will now look like a wall. It'll have the same collisions, it'll look like it. That's what represents our wall. Um, that's fine for now. We're going to create all our objects, so we'll create another one. And it'll be OBJ car. C H A R. And guess what we're gonna do here? Now we're gonna add our sprite character to it. So there we go. Now we've added both of our objects. So so far so good. Um now object wall, because this is a wall, basically right here we're gonna all we're gonna do is make a very, very simple game using a method that you shouldn't use very often, it's just easy to understand to get used to this. If you're going to do this later on, there's a lot better way to do this, and I'll probably do that in the next tutorial. Maybe not, I'm not sure. But for now, that's what we're going to do. So all your walls, all your walls need to be solid. You want, you want them to be visible, obviously, because you want to be able to see them. But solid is important, so all you do is take solid. That's all you do. For now, that's all we need to do in the wall. Now, object character, we don't need this to be solid because nothing will be colliding it, but you know, you can do that if you want. It's up to you completely. So basically here we've got two boxes. Um events are things that you do to trigger things and the actions are things that are triggered. Now first of all, if you want him to let's just make him move around and when he hits a wall, he stops. So we'll do add event, and we'll do, this is all these sort of things you get. Now, I will go over all of these later. For now, we've got create, destroy, alarm, step, collision, keyboard, trigger, key release, key press, draw, other, and mouse. Now, a lot of these have sort of other things coming off of them. Do not worry about them right now. We're only going to use key release keyboard and collision for now um, so we've got keyboard left and we're gonna add one we're gonna add keyboard right keyboard up and keyboard down and we're gonna so we've got all of them there now in left this is the actions and you've got pages of them here um, you can do everything in that, which is execute code, which looks like this. And you know, you add code to it. We'll probably do that in a different um, tutorial, not for now, because it's quite, you know, you want to understand things first. So we're going to use very basic movement, which isn't the best, doesn't work great. So I wouldn't recommend using this again, just use it so you get used to it. Now, as you can see, we're in the move tab here, and we've got this which is moved move fixed basically means it's going to move in a direction and that you know it's not going to do anything this this is the direction it's going to move so we're going to drag this in so what you do you, you know you just click and drag into actions and it'll bring up the sort of window where you sort of choose everything to do with it now this is a very simple one obviously because it's left when i want to press that. We don't want to press any others by accident, you want to make sure they're all blue apart from left. And your speed, um, it's hard to get 
a sort of idea of how fast things are, so it's all really just about checking and seeing, you know, tweaking it. For now, let's make it five. Um, so now we've got, when we press left, it's going to move left at a speed of five. So we're just going to copy this. See, this is what you can do. You can copy, move it here, and paste. So copying and paste works on this as well. Now we can untick that one and tick up and do the same again. We can just keep on doing that, edit it, make sure it's right instead of left, and then finally paste it here and make sure it's down instead of left. So we're not going to be using gravity, nothing here that's quite, you know, so advanced. This is just a very basic movement. So let's just, you know, use this. So you can't run the game yet because we haven't got a room for it to work in. So what we do is we create a room. This is what a room looks like. I'll make it full screen so you guys can see a bit better. So this is a bit overwhelming. Again, you scroll in and out, and this is what I'm talking about, the 32 by 32 that I said about in my first video, when we were creating the 32 by 32 sprites. Because if I get a wall now, and I click, it fits them perfectly, because you know, these are 32 by 32. There is a way of changing this, but for now, we're just going to stick with 32 by 32, and this is how you change it. You know, you've got 16, and it'll go a bit weird and stuff like that. That's just That's just the snapping, right? You can turn snapping off, like that. Sorry, that's, that's just the grid. You can turn snapping off though. Um, but, you know, this is just a lot simpler to use. So let's just keep the grid on. And what we're going to first want to do is just take our object character. You just click here and it brings up the menu for all you people. Just left click. You've got, you know, you've got all these tabs. So you don't need to worry about them yet. Just objects is the only one we want. And you're going to get, make sure it's object character and just put it in the middle. And press the tick. And that completes the room. Now we rerun this, and here we are. So we've got our little window here. You can see our character in here. So we press left, he moves left, up, right. You know, this is all good so far. It's very, it's fixed though. You know, you can't go diagonally or anything, which we will fix in a different tutorial. But also, when we release the key, it doesn't stop. And this is easy to fix and actually that's what we'll do actually no yeah we'll do that after we've done collisions with walls so here we are back in our room again now we go back in sorry not in our room <laughs> into our window again we open up object character and you've got these so far now it wants to collide so it's a collision this isn't you know there's other ways to do this as well but it's just a very basic way collision with object wall I'm going to drag this in, same the move, the move fixed thing. We're going to do the middle one, which is stop, and we're just going to keep it at zero. Okay, now we're going to open, see this is the window I'm talking about, but I'm not connected to the internet right now. Um, so we've got a room, scroll out, object wall. Now the easy way to paint things down on this is just to hold shift and left click and if you make a mistake just hold shift and right click otherwise you're, you know you're dragging each one individually but if you hold shift you sort of paint them on so you can just hold left click and just paint these walls onto it like this and then that's as, that's as good so now you know you can't really leave the screen let's just make sure this works before I am um, you know go oh yeah it's totally working so come on work yep there you go so it's colliding with the walls now. And we come down here. Boom. It collides with them. It's not perfect. It's not very, it's not great. But you know, it works for the meantime while you get used to the program. So now the final thing we're going to do in this tutorial is make it so that when you release the key, it's going to stop moving. So because it's going to stop moving, you know, this is already stop moving. So we can just actually just copy this. So there we go. And we can do key release, left, key release, right, key release up, you know, it's pretty standard, key release down, and we're going to go into all each of these and paste it in, like this. So there we go. Now, if we, I've not done this, I've not done this sort of way of making them for a while, so I'm not 100% sure this will work. If it doesn't, just bear with me. Yeah, there you go. So now, if you release the key, your character will stop moving. So now you've got this sort of like a 
top down I don't know RPG I guess um collides with walls if you wanted to just for a test room you can you know make some little walls dotted about that sort of thing um but for now guys we've basically made a basic game and we're actually going to rename this to test we made a really, really basic game. There's no goal to it. There's no way of winning it. We've just programmed a few things to do what we want. So I'll see you next time, guys, where we'll probably put in um, more rooms, which are rooms are basically levels, and we'll put in a way, like a sort of goal, to get to those rooms.